Hi, welcome to Ward's Auctions uh, for our Christmas sale. I know it's in November, but it gives you lots of time to buy gifts and to wrap them up. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of the jewelry that we have this time. We have over a quarter million dollars worth of jewelry. 85% of it has been appraised, and as always, we stand by our appraisals. Uh, so just a few of the little pieces that I particularly like. Uh, we have this Victorian lavalier. Uh, you know, we have carved cameos, uh, nice uh, gold and seed pearl brooch sets. We have this beautiful brooch set with diamonds. Uh, just a lovely little piece and uh, interesting bits like this uh, 15 karat antique watch chain, which personally I wouldn't use as a watch chain. Um, I would actually attach something like this, which is a beautiful diamond star. So, um, but if you want, we also have the 18 karat gold watch to go with it. We have beautiful diamond rings, including this one, which I believe the appraisal is over 30,000. It's a really good diamond and very, very pretty. We have emeralds, we have amethyst, we have pearls, which you can't go wrong with pearls. Uh, Perfect for a black sweater, perfect in the winter. We have beautiful things like diamond Seiko watches set in gold. As you can see that our, our uh, rings are just, we're just overflowing with rings. We have every single kind of gemstone that you could possibly think of, uh, including this beautiful aquamarine that looks like a topaz, it's so blue, but it's an actual aquamarine. Uh, and we don't have just one big diamond, we have, well, a few. Uh, also, we have things like this, which I just think is so pretty. It doesn't appraise out very high, but you get a lot of show for your dough. Uh, we have gold chains. We have beautiful gold bangles, uh, chased bangles, chased bracelets from Burks. We have 9 carat, 10 carat. We have an 18 carat. This one is really pretty with the Greek key design. We have beautiful uh, gold necklaces. Just about anything that you would like to uh, that you would like to give for gifts. We have Victorian love tokens which were made from uh, old coins and you can see that they've all been engraved and just neat neat little pieces that you just don't see anymore and not everybody's going to have. Silver is so popular and these are so beautiful. They're coin silver. What else can I show you? We have beaded pieces. Uh, sorry. We have beautiful thick gold bracelets which anybody would love to have and gold chains we have gold chains that are just absolutely overflowing so we have them in all different sizes and lengths so and pendants to go with them so anything that you're looking to get I'm sure that you can get something for everybody on your list and uh, I normally don't do this kind of thing but Brad told me I had to or I couldn't get my paycheck all right that's it thanks bye right on thanks Jane for showing the jewelry there I kind of had to guilt her into that one. The uh, I don't have my little post-it note with the dates and time, so I'm probably going to make a million mistakes as I go along, because I always do. But this is our last antiques collectible sale uh, for 2015. Uh, my name is Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions in Edmonton, Alberta. 11802 145th Street is the address. The sale itself is a two-part sale. Roughly lots, uh, well, for sure lots 1 to 400 or 401 or whatever it is is on the Sunday, the, uh, the 29th of November, and that's gonna start at 11 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock, we open up the doors. And then we cut off the sale. Uh, it's a great cup day, so you can go off and uh, watch the game. You should be out of here uh, early enough, if, unless you wanna miss the, the, the very, the, you might miss the beginning or whatever, uh, but who cares about that? And then, uh, and then we pick up six o'clock on Monday on the 30th. Uh, theoretically, I should get these dates Memorize are pretty good because that's my birthday and my dad's birthday, my late dad's birthday. So I should be able to remember those days. The 27th is the viewing, and that's on the Friday from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. So 11802 145th Street, wardsauctions.com. Of course, you can see this video, you're probably already on that website. And of course, all the image galleries, uh, including all that nice jewelry that, that Jane showed you, a quarter of a million dollars worth. I'm going to try and not take too much time because I get a bit rambly because we already got a couple minutes of jewelry there. And this sale's big and it's got everything. You want to talk about eclectic, tools, bears, and when I say bears, I mean actual bears, uh, made into rugs, furniture, artwork, and whatever. Uh, here's, a, here's a triple train weight driven uh, long case clock or grandfather clock, semi-contemporary. It's got a good look to it. And there's everything, little, you know, almost an apothecary type 
cabinet there. Uh, this oak one with the, with the pillars, it's been stripped by the looks of it, which is the heavy lifting as far as doing any restoration work goes. So you can do your own finish on that and have some fun. There's miscellaneous type smalls. I wouldn't be surprised if all these are set up as one lot. There's mid-century modern in the sale, which is just the, the, the bee's knees, this thing. This is a wall system, mounts to the wall with the slats and then these mount to it and you can change it into different configurations. This is one uh, section and this is another section not assembled. We just don't have the wall space and Andrew sort of, you know, kind of screwed it right to the wall. You have to essentially assemble it. Leather sofa sets, nice quarter cut oak gramophone uh, stand for a portable gramophone. Again, the mid-century. There's two of these uh, top and bottom chest on chest cabinets. Uh, they're Danish and there's, they came up the same place, so you could have two if you wanted. And then this monster of a dining set with nine chairs and it opens up like, ba -da! it's fantastic. Um, and then of course there's antique pieces in there in the Sheraton style. I think there's got to be four or five different china sets in the sale, just in time for Christmas dinner. This is the last sale before Christmas, more mid-century, uh, semi-contemporary here. This is a Victorian table. Uh, and chairs, the, there's a, an Electra Home solid state stereo here. You're only seeing the back of it, and that's cool. You have to come to the viewing anyhow. And, and it is, it's funny, I've seen now two of these, never seen one before in my life. I, we brought this one in thinking that if somebody's doing a mid century room, uh, this is going to be a really neat accent piece, and it probably still works. We've never plugged it in, but it's a record player, or a, yeah, record player and radio and whatever, but it is so mid century in the cabinetry. Uh, and the spe one speaker comes out and can be moved over, so you got stereo effect and one is built in. <laughs> you really <clears throat> do need to come and have a peek at that, it's so cool. Almost 800 lots in the whole sale, so this, we're not, obviously we're not going to show you anything, everything. And plus we want you to come to the sale, like, it's, it's the, the, the social aspect. That's the only reason that we do all this work, is so that we can visit with you guys when you come to the viewing. Um, swing mirror, vanity, there's really good artwork in the sale, I can't mention all of them because I forgot to make notes on the on the names and then my eyes are just no good with my bifocals. Uh, more china set. Take a look at this pine set. Four chairs and the table. Very, very, you know, Quebec pine antique look to it. You can't really see the front of this, but this is a great antique bedroom chest with a sort of a two-tone front on it with the knobs. Regency style dining set. I think it's set up as two lots. Table chairs sideboard and then china cabinet separate or you know something different don't quote me on that again have a look at the catalog it's all on the website by the time you're seeing this there's a catalog and all the imageries the image galleries are on there more china just in time for your christmas dinner burly twist little occasional table chaise lounge there um rubbings i forgot to mention very way over the door you probably saw it on the sofa was a brown bear I'm going to say brown because it's colored brown. I don't know if it's a brown bear. It could be a black bear. I'm not Mr. Wilderness. But this is a white one, so I'm guessing that's a polar bear. So two bear rugs in the sale, and of course other um, Persian rugs and probably some semi-contemporary stuff. So a little bit of everything, and again, you can see them all on the website. There's the trunk there. So three or four or five pieces there, some, some good, some... Not as good. Mid-century on the on the cedar line cabinet here, chinoiserie cabinet here, very cool. This I'm assuming is, a, I think we cataloged that as a mail sorting cabinet. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, it's got a lot of potential as, as a collector sorter, if you're uh, collecting ephemera of different kinds, if you're collecting the, um, you know, maybe 8x10 promo glossies from celebrities, it would be good for something like that. There's a lot of options. The other cabinet, those that are used to being in the room, that has a sterling in it, it has some sterling in it. I think most of this is sterling. This is all sterling or most sterling in here in flatware, including Burks and, and other stuff. There's a Minox camera. There's uh, still in the original box. Don't be surprised if I bid on that, and I'll tell you why at the auction. So you've got to come to the auction. You can, of course, you have online bidding. Your interface for that is, is iCollector. You go to our, our website, wardsauctions.com, click on the links for online bidding, and it takes you, you have to jump through a few hoops. If you've never done it before, it sounds a little bit complicated. If I was to go into it and start to explain it, it sounds a bit complicated. It really isn't. It's uh, follow the links, become an iCollector user, have a username, password. Yeah, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions, you know, your 
your favorite um, um, star and your whatever. Uh, it's going to ask you for your credit card, so don't be afraid. Put it in there, and um, and then there's other hoops to jump through to register four hours. So I'm not going to over explain it because I'll just screw it all up. There's these really neat bronze medallions in here. It's lot number 88. I'm not going to get into it because I will I will mess up the description. But lot number 88. Pay attention to that one. Go to the website, look at the description, and pay close attention because it's a very very cool lot. Gerundals here, Fallfront Bureau. Off camera here is a little Sheraton um, games table. That's really cool. Another games table down here. You're going to really want to come and have a look at those ones. Neat box here. I love boxes. Anybody who's been around knows that. Carved cabinet here. This is a, a nice table and chairs. I'm assuming we sold it as one lot. Look at the width of these. I don't care how big your bum is. That's going to fit in that chair. We've been using it as our, our temporary dining table, I guess, for the last a uh, few lunch luncheons that we had around here. There's, there's bon these are all modern. These are, there's nothing wrong with these. These are just modern pieces. This is my kind of dog right here. It's trained. It's been here for a month. Not one mess on the carpet. Not once did it wake me up at 6 in the morning looking to get out. Uh, this is a perfect, perfect dog. Of course, somebody did break in and steal a bunch of stuff and the dog didn't say a freaking word. That's a bit of a problem. You might remember uh, the October sale, the um, quote unquote time capsule. We had lots of really neat stuff in the, from the time capsule apartment that has been sealed up for like 30 years. This is some of the stuff that was in there. So again, I can't even tell you how, how that place looked. I wish, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure we took pictures inside, but all that stuff from before and then, and lots of this frilly and shag rug and whatever, and that was all in there. Um, I'm not sure if those Dresden style lamps were from there. We have Gibbard again in the bedroom stuff here. Uh, and clean, room ready, ready to go home. There is more mid-century pieces. There is the Flintstones vanity or desk here. It doesn't get any cooler than that, for sure. Handcrafted with a chainsaw. Antique uh, chest here with the big, I, 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 I called it a hat drawer. I think that's what that's for, some good artwork. Again, off camera, there's some fun stuff down here, including an air conditioning machine, portable, just in time for summer. Some more sterling in here, uh, dresser sets, candlesticks, little plates and whatever. There's a Tiffany. These little shell pieces are, are Tiffany. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, those, those little boxes of shells are actually Tiffany sterling. So that's kind of cool. You don't, definitely don't see that. The, um, the jewelry, obviously, I don't have to talk to you because Jane told you about that and uh, probably, well, uh, she knows way more about it than I do. Uh, she probably didn't touch on all of it. There's some really good coins and paper money. So we're, we're taking you down a little bit of part of the, the sales room that we don't normally get on camera because there is some really good pieces in here, in, in especially in the folding money. And actually, no, I think there's some really good coins as well. Um, I'm just going to scooch around so that we don't have to go backwards on the camera. But there's, like, look at this table saw. Beautiful craftsman table saw. There's some really good, we're gonna get into some other tools as well. Shelf lots of stuff here, your usual, lots of fun stuff. Again, it's a two day sale, so that's why, that's the first one we've had in a long time. Like it really does fill up the room. And there's some neat stuff in here. Take a look at this. This is the, the Dion Quince when they were older. Talking to boys on the phone probably, huh? I'm guessing, you know what girls are like. So that's very neat, that was when they were uh, into their teens. There's a pedal car over here. I'm definitely giving the cameraman his, uh, his work today because we're going a little bit different than we normally do. Really neat camera, um, or a pedal car, fire car. Some framed memorabilia. Some of these pieces were bought when, back when we did a, um, a memorabilia sale back when we were in St. Albert with uh, K97, the guys at K97, which is a radio station here in Edmonton, those of you that are not familiar. And uh, some of these pieces were bought from that, and you know, not all of them, I'm not saying that, but definitely uh, some of them. I'm going to mess with the camera guy again, kind of get back to where we normally go. Jewelry was over here, probably didn't touch on the fact that there is the, the usual cabinet of Daltons, and maybe she didn't even touch on the, on the costume jewelry, I'm not sure I was elsewhere. Uh, Roseville vase, antique, character jugs, hummels, the usual stuff. 
nice big, I mean this is a monster of a, of a, a cabinet record player and radio that's, that's here. The smalls go on and on and on and we're not going to cover all of them. Look at this box of stereoscopes. There is a kajillion. There's a kajillion of them. And yes, that's a real word. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun looking through that. Florals, Mikado here, Capitamonte. These are lead, lead uh, soldiers and other characters. They're not all soldiers. Some of them are more modern and I was a little bit, I didn't expect them to be lead. And then when I opened them up, they were. Very cool. Uh, vintage comics, not my forte, so I'm not positive. Michael probably Googled these things and, and uh, asked, about, you know, asked Mr. Google about them, so he probably knows a few things. Here's a fun lot, the box and the pipes and whatever. This is Carlton Ware. I'm sure there's a pattern for it. I'm going to call it Polka Dot. This Polka Dot. This is Gibbard, I think, right here. Gibbard coffee table, maybe. Um, again, just have a look. There's lots of good stuff here. Down here, well, I'm not going to show you the last aisle. There's a bunch of stuff, but I am going to take you and show you some more tools over there. Here's a train. Look at the size of this thing. That is cool. Still in the original box. I haven't seen this one before. Weaver is the, ma the maker on that one. More of the vintage comics. There's artwork all over the place. Some, some uh, you know, again, original watercolors. I should have showed you some in the other room. They're uh, Canadian artists, and they're really well done. They're, there's a bunch on that very, very back wall. There's some more sports memorabilia. I mentioned that probably some of it came from that sale. There's, you know, hat pin holders. There's a Cocoa Pot. There's Eve Sham here. There's some oil oil lamps around. These are really neat. These are beadwork. They're not antique uh, because I, I know that because the consigner bought them for decent money. Like we're talking $200 or $300 in that in that range. So really, really well done. Some more comics and so on. I am, I'm not going to show you that last aisle. It just gets awkward with the camera. But I'm going to show you down here. So remember the sale is the November 29th and 30th. 29th is a Sunday and that is my birthday. So feel free to bring gifts. And it is, uh, we're going to start at 11 o'clock, opening at 9. The Monday night, we start at 6 o'clock, opening at 4. Uh, watch the website. But look at, this has got Snap-on, this is a Snap-on top box. There's, there is some Snap-on tools in there and a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's going to sell us one lot. There is a jointer. There's a little Snap-on portable compressor. There's actually a, a mid-century teak bed down here with attached headboard, or um, what do you call it, um, end tables down here. Here's a uh, Sears top and bottom box. We've never had this top open. We'll try to get that open tomorrow. There could be this could be full of gold and diamonds. We don't know. It's probably full of tools because um, the bottom box is full of tools. And, and it's, again, it's going to sell as one big, huge, honking, fun lot. And there's piles of Snap-on in here. There's Snap-on in there. There's Snap-on in there. Those of you, you that know, there's a Shopsmith back here. Haven't seen one of those for a while. A little awkward to see on camera. More mid-century teak pieces here, so. Again, just rambling on here. Thanks for watching. It's Brad Ward here. Ward's Auctions in Edmonton, 1180 245th Street. The last antiques and collectibles sale of the year. We do have an, one more sale, which goes right into my wheelhouse, and that's a firearms auction on December 12th. And that, of course, is in, con in conjunction with the Haynes Auctions out of Red Deer and Jim and Linda Bagley that run and own uh, Haynes Auctions. They've been up cataloging and so on. We're still not done. You can see the website. You're going to see lots of stuff on there, um, but there's still more to post. So, so, so st stay tuned for that. And that's our last two sales of the year. So, four five, or so sorry, seven eight zero four five one four five four nine is the office phone number. And uh, feel free to call if you have any questions. Wardsauctions.com is the website. And thank you very much for watching.